Hi viewers and welcome back to our channel. You are well aware that health is your most valuable asset. If you have poor health, life usually gets pretty hard to live, let alone be enjoyable. In today's exhausting world dominated by the digital, you can be more and more disconnected from your physical self and can often, shockingly, be unaware of how badly your body is functioning. Visiting a doctor for a complete health checkup once or twice a year is very important for you, but it is an expensive process. You may also end up missing this checklist due to your busy schedule and time constraints. But what if we told you that there are certain easy tests that you can do at home yourself to check for some diseases? In today's video, we'll tell you what these tests are and how you can do these at home. So stay right there to find out more. Number one, artery check. It has been shown that your flexibility is a good indication of the health of your arteries. Yes, odd, we know, but it only takes a minute to perform this simple check, also known as the cushion test. Lie on your back and, using cushions, prop up both legs so they're at a 45 degree angle. Stay in this position for a minute and take note of the color that your legs are turning. Are they becoming paler or have they retained their color? When the minute is up, lower your legs as fast as possible so they're hanging off one side of your bed or sofa at a 90 degree angle. If you noted that your legs were particularly drained of color whilst raised and then take a couple of moments to return to normal, it could indicate that you have blocked arteries, known medically as peripheral arterial disease or PAD. PAD is caused by fatty material known as plaque building up in the walls of your arteries, making it narrower for blood to get through and can lead to coronary heart disease. Number two, eyesight. Amsler's test can help identify macular degeneration, a condition that can make your eyesight less sharp. Macular degeneration usually appears among people older than 50 and progresses very quickly. It can lead to complete blindness. Do this test in a well-lit room. Put the Amsler grid picture 10 to 15 inches from your eyes. Don't lean your head forward or to the side and don't squint. Cover one eye with your hand and look at the point without blinking for 10 seconds. Do the same with the other eye. If all the lines are even, without any distortions, cuts, or gray spots, it means your retina is perfectly healthy. However, if you notice that in some part of the picture the lines are noticeably curved, you should see a doctor immediately. Number three, carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel may well be every office worker's worst nightmare, but you might find some relief knowing that it's quite easy to diagnose and can be done right at home. You can perform a test called Phelan's Maneuver to check for this. Press the top of your wrists together so your fingertips are facing the floor in a reversed prayer position. Your elbows should be extended. Hold this position for 60 seconds. If you feel tingling, prickling, or burning sensation, or something akin to knocking your funny bone in your thumb, index finger, middle finger, and part of the ring finger, then you probably have carpal tunnel and it might be time to give the typing a rest. Number four, longevity test. Researchers at the European Journal of Preventative Cardiology have created a test called the squat test to check how long you might live. It's a point-based test, and if you get less than eight points in this longevity test, there's a greater likelihood that you'll bite the dust in the next six years. You begin the test, which also measures your muscle strength and balance, with 10 points. Start by crossing your legs and squatting down until you're sitting on the ground, then get back up again. If you used your hands, then minus a point from your initial 10 points. If another part of your body touched the ground, minus another point. If two parts of your body touch the ground, for instance, your thigh and your elbow, minus two points. If you wobbled, knock off a point. If you fall, take a point away. If you've wobbled and six parts of your body have hit the ground, leaving you with a score of three or less, you're 6.5 times as likely to die in the next six years. Although this is not a number which is set in stone. Number five, brain test. You can do this test at home to check the functioning of your brain. You'll need a blank sheet, a highlighter or a pencil, and a friend's help. Draw a clock and ask another person to say the time, hours, and minutes. For example, if it's 10, 10 a.m., then draw the minute and hour hands so that they show the time your friend indicated. 
This test involves lots of processes in our brains. The parts of the brain responsible for arm movement, spatial and visual perception start working harder, and that's why the inability to draw a clock and clock hands may be signs of early dementia. Number six, respiratory system. This method is called the Stanga test, and you'll need a stopwatch to perform it. Stand up and check your heart rate for 30 seconds. Then sit down and take three breaths in a row without exhaling. Then hold your breath as long as you can and count the time. After you exhale, check your pulse for 30 seconds again. If you were able to hold your breath for less than 40 seconds, the work of your respiratory system isn't that good. The average result should be 40 to 49 seconds. If you can hold your breath for more than 50 seconds, you're in really good shape. Number seven, stomach acid. Mix a heaping teaspoon of baking soda into a small glass of tap water, stir and swallow immediately on an empty stomach. A loud burp within five minutes can indicate healthy levels of stomach acid. Mixing sodium bicarbonate with stomach acid or hydrochloric acid creates a reaction that gives off carbon dioxide gas, which causes burping. Levels of stomach acid are thought to decline after the age of 40 in some people, causing poor digestion or poor absorption of nutrients because food is not properly broken down and you're likely more vulnerable to an upset stomach. On the flip side, low levels of the acid can cause heartburn because to compensate, your body throws the little acid there is to the top of the stomach and it can get into your esophagus. Number eight, thyroid. This thyroid test is rather easy to perform. Just stretch out your hand palm down and place a piece of paper on top. If the paper trembles or shakes excessively, you could have an overactive thyroid gland or hyperthyroidism. A fine tremor in your hands is a sign of thyroid toxicosis or excessive amounts of thyroid hormones. The movement could be too small to see on its own, but the sheet of paper accentuates any shaking. A slight tremble is very common and can be caused by caffeine, asthma medication, anxiety, or low blood sugar levels. It can also be a sign of early Parkinson's disease, though in this case, the tremor is more likely to appear when the hand is at rest rather than when the muscles are in use. Hyperthyroidism occurs when your thyroid gland produces too much of the hormone thyroxine, causing your body's functions to go into hyperdrive, leading to a racing pulse and twitchy muscles, as well as possibly unexplained weight loss, anxiety, mood swings, and difficulty sleeping. Number nine, strength and agility. The chair test is a widely used measure of strength and agility to test its possible decline. Measure a 10-foot distance and place a dining chair at one end. Ask a friend to stand at the other end with a stopwatch. Sit comfortably on the chair, start the timer and get up. Walk the distance, turn around, walk back to your chair and sit down again. The clock should stop the moment your bottom hits the chair. A score of 10 seconds or less indicates normal mobility. 13 to 20 seconds means your balance could be impaired and you could be at risk of falls while 20 seconds plus may mean a more serious mobility problem. You can improve your score by practicing this sit to stand technique at every opportunity. If you're watching TV, get up every time a commercial comes on and concentrate on lowering yourself slowly into the chair when you sit back down to work your muscles against gravity. If you slump into your chair with an audible oof, it means you've not engaged your muscles and properly controlled your descent. Number 10, back pain. This curled spine test is for you if you have back pain. Sitting in a chair, let your chin drop to your chest and curl your back. Lift your leg in front of you to straighten your knee and finally pull your toes towards you. Do the test slowly and stop immediately if pain increases at any point. If you do feel pain during this test, it's more likely that it originates from the sciatic nerve than say a pulled muscle. The sciatic nerve runs from your lower back down the back of each leg. Sciatic pain can be caused by problems with or degeneration of discs in the back that press on the nerves. It's unlikely to disappear on its own and if it's left untreated, it can cause permanent nerve damage. Consult an immediate specialist intervention to help get it better faster. Number 11, bowel health. This might be the strangest test on our list. It's also called the sweet corn test and it's very simple to do. 
eat a tablespoon of sweet corn, either alone or as part of a meal, and note how long it takes for the first kernels to appear on your stool. Ideally, this should be in 12 to 48 hours. Any faster than this could lead to poor nutrient absorption. Longer can signify constipation or more serious problems. Sweet corn is hard for your body to digest, which makes this test a simple way of checking what's known as the gut transit time. It's how long it takes for food to pass through your body as you can see exactly when it's passed through. What test are you gonna try? Do you have any at-home tests you'd like to share? Let us know in the comments section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.